Hey guys, it's Mishy Beauty here. I am here with a video of my most used beauty products. That is also, I would say some of them are um, skincare products as well. So this is most used, the products I go for the most, skincare and beauty products. I have done a video similar to this before, but this is I'm going to call this my go-to's, go-to's for every day. And if you notice that my face is a little bit lighter, uh, I am trying the skin tint that I was sent in a box, one of my boxes. The skin tint uh, obviously is a little bit lighter um, than my skin color, but I am going to keep it on uh, and look kind of like an idiot, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it on. Um, it does have a probiotic in it, so this is good for my skin. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep it on. I'm going to search for a different color to see if there's a different color out there somewhere. But without further ado, let's get started. Uh, I'm not going to stop and start the video. Let's start with skincare products or products that I put on my face prior to putting on my beauty products like foundation, uh, or skin tints or um, any type of blush, highlighter, or eyeshadow. These are the products I prime my face with first or get my skin ready with first. So I want to start out with, um, now you guys seen the video with the products I will wash my face with. Um, I will sometimes follow up after washing or with a mask or whatever, I will follow up with this Milk Makeup Serum. It's a watermelon brightening serum. And what this does is it kind of tones my skin. And I do like what it's made my skin feel like and look like over time. I have had this product for quite some time now. Uh, not a long time, but at least months. Um, and I do like the feeling and the look that it gives my skin. So I do use this in conjunction or either or with this product that I most recently got on a, I believe it was a Marshalls or TJ Maxx haul. Uh, this is from Skin Assistant. It is the Collagen Morning Glow Serum. This is a an oil serum. I believe this is oil based yes but it does not feel oily and I go for this every single time after I wash and cleanse my face it says this collagen serum aids in firming skin and reducing the appearance of fine lines I haven't had it that long uh, but I am noticing a slight difference call it in my mind <laughs> but I don't think it's just in my mind that I'm noticing this difference. So I'm going to continue to use it. Uh, this was $5.99. Oh, here we go. Marshalls. This was a Marshalls haul. You guys probably remember me talking about this, but now I've had a chance to use it and it has quickly moved to the front of my skincare line. And I use this every single day after washing my face. All right. The next, I would say, skincare product would probably be uh, lotion and this was something I got in a box it was a fab fit fun box uh, recently um, it's been quickly moved up uh, in front of most of my lotions that I use it is the levito body lotion <laughs> I have butterfingers, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Not only does it smell great, it feels like it is moisturizing the skin. It definitely does feel like it's moisturizing the skin from the inside out. Um, I'm not sure why it feels that way, but it does. Uh, this claims, it's, uh, let's see, it has mandarin orange and bergamot in it. Um, I don't know what this writing is. I don't know if this is a Korean product. I'm not sure. Uh, it looks Hebrew. I don't know. Um, so 
let's see. I don't have the little card. Oh, hydrate, nourish, and protect. That's what it says here. So, again, Levito inspired by nature. Okay? Levito, it's vegan. It says this is vegan. So that has quickly become one of my skincare, and this is a body lotion that has quickly moved up. The last thing, well, I should have did this before I did my serums. The uh, Neutrogena makeup removers, those have been my go-to for quickly removing makeup. But I did read somewhere that these are not to be used alone. They do not, it doesn't matter what the claims are, these makeup wipes will not clean everything uh, deep cleaning and lifting up uh, that they should. So you want to follow it up with a soap or like I do when you guys seen what I use I use a um, makeup remover and it's it's kind of oily there's a Neutrogena makeup remover that I'll use and then there's a Jergens one that lifts the oil uh, lifts the makeup out of your skin so you want to probably do that but this is my go-to quick makeup remover it's the Neutrogena makeup wipes cleansing towelettes um, and then the last uh, I would say what are we calling it skin product uh, you know what I'm saying the last one in that category would be this um, my first actually natural deodorant this is a deodorant Jesus I bought from Marshalls $3.99. It is natural, aluminum free. It claims to be 24 hour protection. I have not had a problem with it. I got lavender scent. Uh, it is the name of this deodorant is the Green Beaver. Well, it says Green Beaver Company. The Green Beaver Company. Okay. With anti odorant sage extract and soothing labrador tea never heard of it this has been working and it has a nice ooh, nice fresh lavender scent it's free of parabens it doesn't have aluminum in it aluminum free goes on clear so this deodorant has moved to the front. Actually, it's the only deodorant that I use, and it's the only natural deodorant that I have purchased so far, and I like it. So, this deodorant by the Green Beaver Company, natural deodorant, go-to deodorant there. The next thing, let's talk about perfume. The body spray and perfume, this is a duo. It is by Ed Harley. Uh, this is a fragrance mist that I put on my body. You see, it's almost time to get some more. Again, this is by Ed Hardy. And you can buy that at the drugstores. Um, Sam's also carries it. This is the Ed Hardy perfume that I use with that. Sometimes I just run out of the house with the body spray. This is your perfume, Ed Hardy. And there's the very, very nice scent. It's not a heavy, heavy scent. I do like those. Sorry. Hit the camera with that. All right. Let's move into the pure beauty now. Um, let's start with my face. So for my face, my go-to, uh, if you're talking about foundation, okay, if you're talking about foundation and, oh, I forgot it. I have to go get it. Sorry. All right. So if you're talking about foundation, uh, cream or liquid, this really is not a foundation. Um, I was, my go-to cream foundation uh, would have been, um, what do you call that? The matte foundation from um, Fenty. Fenty Beauty Matte Foundation. It's It makes my skin look flawless. However, I, I do have to mix 
something with it so that's not something I wear every day but if you're talking about everyday coverage um, I use the complexion rescue tinted hydrating gel cream in the color Terra 5 or 85 let's see if I can get that closer Terra 8.5 so I do use this uh, although I don't have it on today I did want to try this other um, tinted moisturizer which is not my color this complexion rescue I am going to buy more of I forgot how much it was broad spectrum SPF 30 I really like this stuff I really like it it does not streak um, it doesn't, I mean, it's just exactly what it says it does, it does. And I don't need a lot of coverage on a daily basis, so I go for this. It's my go-to, you know, it's, it, it doesn't even look like I have makeup on. It's just a nice, it just gives a nice look to the skin, and I do like this. Uh, I did purchase this at a cosmetic store. I forgot the name of it. The next thing that I do use in the way of foundation, this is my go-to powder foundation, and you guys know this. I think you've, those of you that have been on my channel uh, for a little bit, the Too Faced uh, Cocoa Powder. They do not sell this anymore. You can get it. Well, you used to be able to get it on Amazon as well. I think they still have it. My color is Deep Tan. I think I could, if they had darker, I could maybe stand to get another I don't know this this seems to match me pretty good this this seems to match me pretty good I have to blend it I don't have any problem with this powder I absolutely love it this also makes me look flawless when I use it I love it and I'm never going to let go until they actually have none on Amazon <laughs> but I am not a everyday makeup wearer like that so I'll have this for a little bit I'm thinking the next product I want to talk about that goes in um, goes in with powders is the Becca powder it is a Becca Hydra mist set and refresh powder I really like this uh, it's not drying. It is hydrating just like it says. And this is basically the setting powder I use on a daily basis when I do have a cream or liquid foundation that I'm using that I want to set or tone down. So this Becca Hydrating Powder, it's my go-to for that. Okay. If you want to talk about next setting sprays after I finish everything, I just got this setting spray. I was using, mm, it'll come to me later, but I was using another one. Um, I really like this Foera Do Me, D-E-W Me, Rose Watering uh, Priming Setting Mist. I do like this after... I put on my face foundation and, and makeup and everything. I do like this. It does bring out the highlighter and everything that I use. I, I really like the, the little glow that it gives me. And it smells good. Some people that don't like the rose smells might not want to go for this one. This did come in a, um, it came in a babe box. One of my subscription boxes. So this is the finishing spray I do go for now. Um, the next thing that I do want to talk about uh, is a product that I have been using. Now my original Beauty Blender did rip and I have another one that I could use. But I have been going for this The Cream Shop. Uh, blending classic blending sponge it is not as uh, forgiving with it's it's just a little bit firm but this is a go-to video so I'm going to review it and just say I've been going for this uh, but it is firmer than what I'm used to okay so this is what I'm using for now until I replace it with something else for my beauty sponge now, the next thing I want to talk about is primer. Primer, and 
I'm sorry, but this Touch and Soul um, No Problem Primer, this just feels great. And as far as making your skin feel smooth and covering up the pores or, or you know, making them lessen the appearance of the pores, this No Problem Primer is great. It's just, it just feels great. On the skin and it makes your your makeup go on your base go on a lot smoother and easier so more poor bloom pri primer this is what I've been using uh, it's my go-to I like it as far as um, let's get into the eyeshadow I've got two eyeshadow palettes I'll either use them separate depending upon where I'm going or I'll use them together Lately, I have been going for my Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette, which is an all, um, it's an all matte. I'm just trying to look for the word. This is an all matte. I do have the, this color on over here today um, in conjunction with the next palette. I've got another uh, combination uh, that I'm using too. It's it's laying right here. But I love these two together when I want to darken the outside uh, area, crease area. And th these two go together well. The whole palette I do like for every day, depending upon what I'm wearing. And then it's got this nice big mirror. And it comes with a brush if you need to quickly use that. Again, this is the Urban Decay uh, Naked Ultimate Basics palette. And I bought that on the Urban Decay website. If for you, those of you that are curious, that is where I got that. The next palette, and I do have the shimmer part on top of the Naked Basics palette that you just saw. I did put a shimmer from the Pixie by Petra Hello English Rose. This is another one I've been going for, for a lot. It doesn't have a mirror, but this is one that I have been going for a lot. Uh, this has a little bit of fallout. That's the one that I have on my eyes over the matte, but I do like the colors in this palette. I really do. The shadows are soft, so they kind of, when you dig into them, you can see where it would, where I've dug into them. But I love the colors in this. I believe this is called Rosy over here. And this is called Blossom over here. I could be wrong, or vice versa. The colors are listed on the back. But I like this palette. I did get this at Target. Um, the price is not on here. I forgot how much I paid for it. But again, it's the Pixie Hello Beautiful English Rose Palette. I do like this palette. And it's my first Pixie by Petra palette. So that was a home run with me. So it's quickly moved up to the front along with the Urban Decay Naked palette that I have. Uh, if you want to talk about staying with face, uh, the, the blush that I always go for when I don't want to wear, when I don't want a separate highlight is this Laura Geller. This came in a box a long time ago. It could have been BoxyCharm. It's the Baked Blush and Brighten by Laura Geller. And this has a slight shimmer to it, which is why I like it. It looks like a marble finish there, doesn't it? So I use this a lot. I'll either use it depending upon the look and how formal uh, the event that I'm going to or where I'm going. The Laura Geller can be used with highlighter, which is what I'm going to talk about next. Um, this is my go-to um, blush. Okay. As far as highlighter, if I just want a little highlight, I use my crown highlighter they call it a bronzer sun kissed let me open it it is broken by the way <laughs> it is crumbling this is the color that it looks like not a lot of shimmer it is a matte highlighter if there is such a thing <laughs> that is a matte highlighter for me and um I like it down the center of my nose and here because it's very quick and it make, gives the uh, appearance of a more keener nose, of course. Uh, that's what you guys know why we do that. For those of you that already know, 
oh that is what I use this for when I don't want a lot of shimmer when I do want a lot of glow and shimmer I do go to this Ofra palette this was in one of the allure boxes this is one of the best highlighters I have. I know I might have a lot, but I'm going to go on record as saying this is one of the best highlighters I've seen. This is by Ofra. It's called Highlighter Everglow. It's a Nikki Tutorials version. Very pretty. And I could either choose to use this side, this side, or this shade, or I swirl it. And I, I just love this. This is great. It's it's a great look for any sparkly type of look. This is great. And it stays on great. I, I like the formula. All right. So now that I'm off the face, uh, let me go into brushes will be last. Uh, let me go into what I prime my eyes with a lot of times. There are two things I might prime my eyes with. I might use the e.l.f. eyelid primer here. Okay, and that I'm almost out of that. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to say I am out of it. There's hardly nothing in this. Uh, it's not a very, it's a light in color. Um, it, you know, depending upon your look. It hasn't really changed the look of my eyeshadow. I, I pretty much the eyeshadow goes over it and this doesn't affect the color uh, regardless of how light this is or I'll prime my lids and I don't know if you want to say prime it but I'll base my lids with the Fenty Beauty um, um, what do you call this concealer I will use the Fenty Beauty concealer in the color 370 here sorry guys you guys have seen this on my channel before. I just, I like the applicator too on this. I like the applicator. Um, I will use this as concealer, period. I don't use anything else since I've bought Fenty Beauty as concealer if I feel I need to conceal. This is what I use, but I use this to prime my, or to base my lids before putting on eyeshadow. So that's my go-to concealer. Uh, my lips, my go-to lips has been this NYX lingerie. It is a matte finish. I got this in Walmart, I believe. This color, Lipley 24, I don't know if that's the color, but that's, that's what's on here. Um, it's called Cabernet Show. I think this was from, this might have been from a box. I don't know. It's called Cabernet Show is the color. Lipley 24 Cabernet Show. That's my go to lip color. Um, oh, I forgot to. Well, no, we're not going to. Yes, eyeshadow. I'm so sorry. This is also a very quick one color eyeshadow. It is a cream stick eyeshadow. It is by uh, Nude Sticks. And you guys have seen me swatch this before. It's a copper color. And I love the way it looks when I'm wanting some color on my eyelids. Just real quickly, I will put this on. It is called Copper Foil Magnetic Luminous Eye Color. And that is by Nude Sticks. Sorry about that. I almost left that out. As far as eyeliner, you guys have seen me use a number of eyeliners, but this is really my go-to and it's always been. It's by Ico. And this is just your, it says Ico London Skinny Liquid Liner in Black. I always use this. I have yet to use colorful liners, but I stick with black. Even if I switch off from this particular brand, I'm always using a black eyeliner so far, but Ico London, this particular pen, is what I use for my eyes. What I've been using, and you've seen me use them quickly, just to, it's been this glossy, and it's came in a um, babe box. One side is eyeliner, very thick, which I don't like using this. It, the, it's not thick as in the formula thick, but the tip is, is thick, the material. 
but the formula is a little watery for me. But what I have been using more is this to give my winged liner stamp. This is a winged liner stamp. I've been using that real quick as a quick uh, cat eye or to avoid the Cleopatra look that I do sometimes. I have been using this magic stick here for that. Uh, the next thing, I don't do my eyebrows a lot, but when I do, my go-to is the uh, Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil. Um, and that's this here. I believe this is in brown, though. I use this end the most to, I don't know if you call it a spoolie, to brush my eyebrows and get them into shape. Um, if I do decide to use color, I do stick with this same brand. And I use this dark, dark brown. Oh my God, are you for serious? There we go. I don't know what I thought I was doing. Oh, the brown is okay. It's not dark, dark, dark. But I, I rarely color my brows, but if I do, um, I use this end. But this pencil is what I use the other end to comb my brows, to get them into shape. And this is my go-to. I haven't been using anything else. I used to use an e.l.f. brush, but ever since I got this in a box, I prefer this. I like the... Uh, is this a spoolie? I don't know what you call this. All right, now... The last actual beauty product, um, I, I'm going to go over brushes, but that last uh, beauty product, the mascara, this has just the unlashed, and I sometimes call it unleashed without even thinking twice. And you guys are probably like, lady, it's unlashed by Wander Beauty. And this is a uh, tarmac color, black, I guess, volume and curl mascara. And I do like this. I really do like this. It's been my go-to. I was using uh, Clinique when I first started these makeup tutorials. But nothing's really... Some of them, you know, this is just the greatest neutral uh, thickness. It is in between... It's in between too light and too thick. It's just, it's normal. And that's all you need on a daily basis. It's become my go-to. It's not clumpy. Um... It's not super thick, you know, and it gives just the right amount of volume and look to an everyday look. I really like this Wander Beauty, which I did receive in, a, I believe, a boxy charm. So let's just get to the, I'm trying to make this video as short as I can, because as you all do know, I make long videos talking about nothing sometimes. Well, I'm talking about something, but I'm sure your guys' mind wanders when I actually talk. So... Let's go ahead and go over brushes. I'm going to start with the face brushes. The face brushes. The face brushes I use the most. This Sigma Flat Kabuki brush that's F80. Doesn't want, excuse me, doesn't want to focus. This is a flat kabuki brush i need to clean it this is my go-to if i want to put foundation on with a brush once i get to my powders or my powder i use this firma 102 brush for powder okay firma 102 brush i usually use it for i'm gonna say blush not so much powder as blush but i'll go in between powder and blush on this one okay now for my highlighter, I did receive a highlighter brush that I think I might be using just as much as this one I'm about to show you, but I just got it in a BoxyCharm like the other day. It is a highlighter brush and you guys will see that. It is not a fan brush. The other one is a different type of brush, but my go-to brush, again, I'm talking about go-to's as it stands right now, is the fan brush from Sigma. It's the strobing fan brush and it's F42. The strobing fan brush F42. It does exactly what you need here. 
it also in the nose area and right along the cupid's bow it is just so easy it puts just the right amount of product on there in in the right place in the right way so that's what i've been using so far i do have to start using the other one that i was given i want to see how it works it's just a, a highlighter brush um you know like a regular brush i don't know what you call those type of brushes but it's not a fan brush all right the next thing is let's get to the eyes these have been my go-to um there was an alamar green brush that i would also use but ever since i got my sigma brushes i've been just going for those in conjunction with juvia's place brushes do not sleep on juvia's place their brushes are pretty good the juvia's place um eyeshadow blending brush it's a round one j5 and i like how big this is for us ladies that have the uh big i don't have big lids but this just covers a fair amount of area especially when you want to put the base eyeshadow over all over your eye i do like the size of this for that and for those of, of you that do have the big um eyelid area this is perfect for that so that is a juvia's place j5 round eyeshadow brush is what they're calling that the next brush that i use the most is a tapered blending brush by sigma it's the e40 it's your classic e40 brush that you see a lot of people using and that's a good blending brush so that's a go-to brush for me um, I used that back and forth with the J6 buffer eyeshadow brush. If you look at these side by side, they do look a little different, but it depends on what you're doing with your eyelid. I can use these back to back. It doesn't matter to me when you want to change colors. So J6 buffer eyeshadow brush is another go-to of mine. And then the next brush that is a good, this is, oh, believe it or not, this is a white haired brush. Is it? Is this my white? This is not my white haired blending brush, is it? <laughs> I need to clean this. I really do. But this is a blending E25 brush from Sigma. So this is supposed to be white. <laughs> need to clean it. So that, that basically uh, does it for, no, it doesn't. Let me just say that I just got these. These are Morphe brushes, okay? I got these in the pack. It came in this uh, bag. But these are the brushes I'm, I've also been picking up real quick. They do not have numbers on them. But these are white uh, blending brushes. White blending brushes. So this is a blending brush. I've been using these two more than anything. So you, you can never have too many of these brushes because we're always changing colors and we don't have time to just wash them off in between brushes when we're going with the same uh, day or the same look there. And so these are coming in handy too. So really guys, that is it. Oh, no, it's not. One last thing and I promise this brush right here quickly becoming my favorite brush for after everything's over this brush is a 101 elf brush i forgot the series name that this came from um, this is what i use for translucent powder translucent powder which i forgot to show you that too translucent powder and let me get the translucent powder i've been using quite a bit this is another marshall's haul item that i've been using this powder what did i forget my lip gloss too i sure did this powder is um i like it from physician's formula it has argon oil in it and i've actually showed you guys this recently because i haven't even had it that long it smells good too so I put it I usually put my translucent powder on 
even when I don't have dark makeup on, any kind of makeup or anything or foundation, and I all I use is translucent powder, I put it on with this, or sometimes I clean up. If I have too much glitter on my face from fallout, I'll clean up with this as well. And my last product, and if it isn't too bad, so sad, um, the last product that is my go-to lip topper is my Revlon uh, Luminate, what is it, Revlon Super Lustrous. And I forgot the color, but this is what I have on today. And this is its swatch next to the, this is it right here. And that is my go-to lip topper. That is all that I have for you guys today. I just wanted to let you know what my go-tos were every day when you guys don't see me. These are the products that I go for the most that I like that I can recommend. All of these products I would recommend that people try. So again, sorry about the color on my face. I'm trying this out. This new... Um, uh, probiotic tinted moisturizer thing so and I forgot the name of it not important it's not even the right color so I can't recommend it yet um, anyway so that's that guys I'm gonna let you guys go please thumbs up this video if you like it uh, you can subscribe and hit the bell button if you're interested in looking at more videos and getting notified that I make them so I'd appreciate the support and for all of you all that might not look at me every day, but you're still there, I appreciate you still being there anyway. Um, anyway, that is it. The next thing I might do, I don't know what I'm going to do next, but I think the next thing I'm going to do is my um, clothing box. So stay tuned for uh, my clothing subscription box. It is on its way, so it should be here shortly um i'd say within a week so with that said guys i'm going to let you guys go thanks for tuning in have a good day bye